It's a known fact that nearly every high school student owns a mobile phone nowadays. But is that really a bad thing or is it a good thing? Over the years, the opinions of many has changed on mobile phones. I'll be looking at how high school students see their phones and their opinions on them. I went a different route for my information. I didn't do any interviews, but I got facts from reliable sources online, but more importantly, I posted a 10 question survey online on a Reddit forum for high school students from around the world to answer. I got 64 responses from these students. There were 10 questions on this survey. Out of these 10 questions, 9 of them were multiple choice, and 8 of those being yes or no questions, and the final question being a short answer. But through these simple questions, I got lots of information. These are the 10 questions on the survey. 1. Should students own a mobile phone? The possible answers being yes or no. 2. Should students be allowed to bring mobile phones to school? The possible answers also being yes or no. 3. Do you know a high school student who doesn't own a mobile phone? The possible answers being yes or no. 4. Where should students keep their phones during class? The possible answers were A. In their locker B. In their pockets C in their backpacks, D on their desk, or E other. 5. Should social media be allowed at school? The possible answers were yes or no. 6. Should teachers be able to take phones away if used irresponsibly? The possible answers being yes until the end of the day, yes until the end of the class, and no. 7. Should students be allowed to go to the hallway to answer a phone call during class? Possible answers being yes or no. 8. Are phones often a distraction during class? The possible answers being yes or no. 9. Are phones often a distraction while studying or doing homework? The possible answers being yes or no. And finally, question 10, which was one way phones are useful during class, which was required which required you to put a short answer. However, most responses went against the one way they are useful and gave more than one reason. The following is the results from the survey. The responses from the first question, should students own a mobile phone, were fairly expected and 98.4% of the students answered yes. For the second question, should students be allowed to bring mobile phones to school? It was more split than I thought. Only 93.8% of people said yes. Personally, while I was making this question, I thought 100% of people would say yes. The answers for question 3 wasn't too shocking for me, personally. 59.4% of people don't know anyone without a mobile phone. For the fourth question, you were able to answer in more than one category, which is why the percentages don't add up. 29.7% think that students should keep their phones in their lockers. 67.2% should keep them in their pockets. 719 in their backpack. And 182 think on their desks. I did have another option, but nobody answered it. Question 5, which was, should social media be allowed at school, had a clean 75-25% split where 75% of people said yes, it should be allowed. For the sixth question, should teachers be able to take phones away if used irresponsibly? 85.9% of people said yes, where 70.3% of that was yes until the end of the class, and 156 said yes until the end of the day. The seventh question is a little bit weird because I didn't clarify if it was just for emergencies, or just normal phone calls. However, 45.3% of people said that you should be able to go to the hallway to answer phone calls. Questions 8 and 9 got cool results. 57.8% of people often get distracted during class on their mobile phones, and even more, 71.9% often get distracted while studying and doing homework. I summed up number 10 as best as I could. 27 people use their phones for research and Google, 13 use it for apps such as Quizlet and Kahoot, 9 people for their calculator, 6 people for dictionary 
and vocabulary. Four people to kill time. Four people for checking answers and things online like that. Yeah. Uh, four people for taking pictures of the board. Two people for emergency phone calls. Two people for music. One person for checking grades. And one person for taking notes. In conclusion, I personally think that the information I got was cool. I got to, to look on how students themselves use their phones and how they personally think of them. Thank you.